In this video, I am going to discuss about a very important topic, linkage and recombination. To understand linkage and recombination, let us first of all study law of independent assortment as given by Mendel. We all know that Mendel studied various crosses in the pea plant and he gave his law of inheritance. In a dihybrid cross that he carried out on pea plant having the yellow colored seed and round shape with green colored seed and wrinkle shape. In F2 generation of this dihybrid cross, he got the ratio 9 ratio 3 ratio 3 ratio 1. In this 9 and 1, these are the parental type and 3 and 3, these are new combination. So in term of percentage, we can say 62.5% parental and 37.5% recombinant. And on the basis of this, he gave law of independent assortment. According to this law, when two pair of trait, they are combined in a hybrid, then segregation of the one trait is totally independent of the other pair of the trait. They go independently. Is it always true? Thomas Hunt Morgan, who is also known as father of modern genetics, he carried his experiment on the Drosophila melanogaster. It is also known as fruit fly. Now the question, why he selected Drosophila melanogaster? This is a very good material for genetic studies because it can be easily grown in synthetic medium. You just mash banana and you can easily cultivate them. Their lifespan is just of two weeks as compared to two, three months of the pea plant. Male and female can be easily distinguished. A large number of progeny, a large number of offspring in single progeny and various contrasting trait, red eye, white eye, brown body, yellow body, normal wing, miniature wing, like this. So now let us study Morgan experiment. What did Morgan actually do? He performed two crosses. In cross A, he took two drosophila, one female white eye yellow body and the another one male red eye brown body. Red eye brown body is the normal trait considered as a wild while the yellow body and the white eye this is a mutant trait. This is recessive trait. Red eye dominant, brown eye dominant. White eye recessive, yellow body recessive. Another very important point to mention here is this is a sex link inheritance. What do you mean by the sex link inheritance? The traits which are inherited for these genes are present on the sex chromosome. All of us know that the chromosome can be divided into two categories, autosomes and the sex chromosome. One pair of chromosome is different in female and male. So the traits which are present on these chromosome, they are known as the sex link. For example, like say here we are talking of the eye color. We are talking of the body color. So the gene for this is found on the X chromosome, but the corresponding allele is absent on the Y chromosome. So, in case of male, whatever is present on the X is going to be expressed in the male. On the other hand, in female, there are two X chromosomes. So, the mutant expression will be there only in the homozygous state. Right? Because I have just told you that the wild variety is dominant over the mutant one. So what he did, this was the female, this is the male. Now student, please note down the distance between the body color and the eye color gene. Distance between these two gene you can see is 
very very small they are present just next to each other here so only one type of the gamete is formed by the female because it is homozygous and two type are formed by the male now because of these different type of the gametes the f1 progeny it shows 50% female and the 50% male but the female they are wild type here because they got one x chromosome from the male and male they become yellow eye they become the yellow body and white eye because they receive the x chromosome from the mutant variety of the female and y is not having anything when mendel as uh, not mendel sorry when morgan he crossed f1 female and f1 male these were the gametes form and in f2 progeny he again got 50% male and 50% female but as you can see all different type of combinations are there in male and female but in term of percentage 98.7% parental and only 1.3% recombinant totally different from the mendel cross dihybrid cross ratio that is 9 ratio 3 ratio 3 ratio 1 or 62.5% parental and 37.5% recombinant he just wanted to verify his result he performed another cross also in this cross he took red eye and normal wing male and he cross it with white eye and miniature wing female again the female is mutant and male is wild variety means red eye dominant over white eye normal wing dominant over the miniature wing and again this is a sex link trait this is sex link trait again so now the gametes these are the parents now the notice the distance between the two gene here see the distance here between the miniature wing and the white eye is this much on the other hand in cross a we have seen the distance was only this much here the distance is this much the in cross a it was like that okay so now these were the gametes formed by the parents one type by the female two type by the male and in f1 generation again the result 50% female which were wild type and 50% male miniature and the white wing now the, again f1 and f1 they were crossed these are the gametes which are formed by f1 f1 progeny male and female now the result in f2 generation in f2 generation again same thing 50% male with all different type of combination 50% female with all type of combination but in term of ratio just notice here the parental type ratio here is 62.8% and the new combination here are 37.2% so this ratio is totally different in cross a and cross b so on the basis of this ratio morgan he gave the concept of linkage he said that when two genes they are present very close to each other on the same chromosome as we have done in seen in cross a then they fail to assort independently okay like in this case you can see again let me show you see 
in this particular diagram you can see the distance between these two that is the wing shape and the red eye is this much and the distance between the body color and the eye color g is this so these two genes are not linked but these two genes they are very close to each other they fail to assort independently so we call them linked gene on the other hand these are present far apart from each other this is the reason that he caught number of recombinants more in cross b as compared to the cross a so such genes which are found near to each other on the same chromosome they are called the linked genes right and less is the distance between them more will be the linkage shown by them this phenomena or this tendency of the gene to remain together in the progeny is known as linkage right and this result of morgan experiment was used by his student alfred stotman on the basis of the frequency of recombination between the gene pair when they are present on the same chromosome we can calculate the exact distance between the genes and that he called gene mapping for example see we have studied three genes here that is eye color body color and the wing shape so here you can see the distance between the yellow and white is only 0.5 it is only 0.5 on the other hand white and miniature miniature means wings and white means eye color it is 34.5% of the recombinant and yellow and miniature 35.4% recombinant it means that these two the lower two one they are far apart from each other on the other hand yellow and white they are present near to each other this is called gene mapping see these are the three genes which are found on the same chromosome these two are showing very less distance between them because they were showing only 0.5% recombinant so we can take the distance between these two is only 0.5 unit on the other hand the distance between the yellow and miniature is 35.4 unit because they were showing so much percentage of recombinant similarly the distance between the white and miniature is 34.5 unit because they were showing 34.5% of recombinant so is that clear that on the basis of the frequency of recombinant we can find out the distance between the two g if more is the percentage of recombinant that means that distance is more and if less is the recombinant frequency it means they are close to each other in this way we can make the gene map of all the chromosome of any organism so i hope this concept is clear to you now thank you